Hey there fellow travelers, Mark here with Walter's World and today we're in Warsaw, Poland for five quick tips to help you enjoy Warsaw a bit better. Now our first tip for you is go to the museums. Look you've got this beautiful old town and I'll tell you about that but the museums here in Warsaw there's some really amazing museums. The Uprising Museum to see the history and what happened to Poland during the war and the uprising towards the end of the war when they saw the Soviets on the other side of the river thinking they were coming and then the Nazis wiping out the entire city. You learn so much about it and it's a newer museum so it's got all the bells and whistles you'd expect which is amazing you also there's a you know if you want something fun you can go a little bit farther out from the center and you've got the neon museum to see those things there but honestly my favorite museum here is the National Museum of Warsaw which has an amazing collection of artwork I was there this morning and I was amazed how many masterpieces were there from artists I would never heard of and you just go around and what's so amazing about it is it's actually it's a museum that you go to just enjoy the art. You're not looking for who the artist is. You're just taking it all in and just amazed because they have artwork from the mid Middle Ages and medieval times until the, almost the present day. And it is really, truly amazing. So definitely go check that out. There's also there's a sci the Copernicus Science Museum that's here. If you're into music, there's a Chopin Museum. There's even a museum, a small museum of like life and communism. There's all kinds of little museums and big museums that are here and all kinds of monuments around the city that you can check out it is really really cool so definitely check out the museums when you are here the second tip I have for you is explore the old town now realize everything you see here was completely destroyed all of this is actually new this is actually younger than my dad okay older than me haha <laughs> but younger than my dad and you realize that Warsaw was really completely destroyed that's why I say go to that uprising museum to understand what happens and see what happens and when you walk around the old town you see how painstakingly like hard work they did to redo all of this it is truly amazing whether you're going to the the royal palace and going to see the apartments there or you're going to see the palace other palaces around town or coming through the old town to see the buildings of the churches like St. Anne's it is so amazing to check out and when you realize how it really was rebuilt from literally rubble you have much more passion and pride in the people of Warsaw and you really see that with the Poles how proud they are of their country and what a wonderful job they did rebuilding the whole country but especially here in Warsaw in the old town. Now my third tip for you is one of the things since Warsaw is a rather large city okay it is the capital of Poland there's other areas they've started to redevelop and so you're going to need to use public transport to get around and the public transport here is easy and affordable hey what a nice combination yes there are taxis and you can do the Ubers and stuff like that but you don't really have to the public transport will take you everywhere so if you want to go see that neon museum you got to you got to go out a bit to go see those things and it, but it is super simple to use and so just use that when you are here you can get your tickets at a little like automatic kiosk like at some of the stops so it's not a big deal just make sure you validate your ticket and you're good to go now my fourth tip for you is <laughs> I know I said you can use the public transport and all those things but what I would say is walk the royal way or the royal mile whatever you however you want to say it however you want to have it translate to you the royal way from basically here the old town down to a park in the south part of town where there's the summer residence for the Polish kings and you go by there you hit a lot of the churches for example you'll pass by the church where Chopin you know Frederick Chopin the composer his heart is there that's how much the Polish people love their country they die in other countries they have their hearts sent back to Poland okay but you go down that royal way and you really get to see a lot of cool architecture like historic architecture like this but also communist architecture and you'll see the the new steel and glass buildings over by the train station and on the way you'll see the palace of culture and science it was a gift from Stalin during the Cold War you'll know it when you see it it's the building you go holy moly what is that which is interesting because the new huge mall and the new skyscraper glass skyscrapers are right next to it but you can see that while you're walking down there and then you get to the park you can relax there you can go have your hot dog or your kielbasa or you can have that bread like half of a baguette with cheese and tomato sauce and like it's like a cheap pizza kind of thing you can have that when you're there or one of the donuts one of those things when you are there and it is just a nice little walk to kind of take in and so you can see the old well redone old the communist times and other stuff so do check that out and I guess my fifth tip for you for coming to Warsaw is realize this is a cheap place to come look I ate and drank here on the square I had a starter a main course a dessert and two beers and two cokes and I spent a hundred and ten sweaties which is about 20 25 dollars like that's it on the square outside in a major capital 
and I know it was insane tourist prices for here. Look, Warsaw is a very cheap place to come. Hotels, food, accommodation, drinking, all kinds of stuff. So that's what's nice about coming here. You don't bust your budget checking it out. So if you're looking for a weekend getaway, Wizz Air flies here from all over Europe. You can go fly with Lot as well here. And a lot of major airlines will come here. You can fly direct from the US and you can get out very easy. The Centralna station is right by that huge you know, palace of culture and science. And you got two and a half hours you can be in, in Krakow. I mean, it is a nice thing to do. So anyway, there's just a quick little five tips video for here in Warsaw. If you want to learn more, the don'ts of Poland. Well, I just filmed it right before I did this. <laughs> if you want to see the don'ts of Krakow, I filmed that actually in Krakow. Um, maybe you want to know why is it the Americans always call us Eastern Europeans when in Poland we're Central Europeans. We have that all on our website at waltersworld.com and on our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash waltersworld. And we really appreciate your likes, subscriptions. And if you like videos like this, okay click that subscribe button and we put out videos every wednesday and saturday and if i've got enough time i put another one out during the week as well so please do sign up i really do appreciate it and i'll say bye from poland